Now let's come to the last part of this uh, video series on belts, chain and ropes and talk about the rope drive. Now the rope drives or ropes are used for power transmission over a long distance. For example, they are mostly used in hoisting equipments, cranes, okay. They are used in drilling rigs. Now the rope that we use is mostly made up of a fiber or a steel. Very seldom we use the ropes made of, you know, jute or very uh, weak material. So mostly in industrial application, you will uh, see the steel ropes. Okay. Now to actually run a belt system, you need a pulley. To run a rope system, you also need a grooved pulley. So you see this groove over here, this groove. Okay. So this groove is also, or you can say this grooved pulley, this is called sheave or this is also called a grooved pulley. Grooved pulley. Okay. And in this groove sits the rope. Now generally the ropes are of a circular cross section. So this is how your rope would look like on most of the occasions. Okay, so this is the rope cross section. Now because it has a groove inside it, there must be a groove angle, isn't it? So let us say the half groove angle is beta, the full groove angle is 2 beta. So this is the groove angle. This is the groove angle. Okay. And uh, mu is the coefficient of friction, coefficient of friction between the rope and the uh, side of the groove. So again, similarly, if you have to find out the ratio of tensions in a rope drive, it will take the same course as you know was the formula for a V-belt drive. So it will be E to the power mu E theta where mu e is the virtual coefficient of friction. So this is equal to mu upon sine beta. All right, so this is the topic that talks about the rope drive. And let's finish this chapter by looking at a simple numerical on rope drive.